Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Ellen and welcome to this week's video. Today's video is brought to you in partnership with Etsy and in this video I want to cover some really cool things I found that would be ideal gifts for a planty person. Now if you're trying to buy a gift for a planty person a lot of times the obvious answer may be a plant but if you're not into plants or you think that the person that you're buying the gift for has enough plants or they may not want the plant that you have found I'm here today to show you that there are a lot of different options for gifts for someone planty that aren't actually plants and they aren't necessarily the obvious gifts that you would think of i.e say a plant pot or something like that. So today I have a few gifts to show you that I found on Etsy. I did a lot of searching and I found some gifts that would be really good to buy pretty much anyone. I think I've covered a few different things here in this video so if you're interested please keep watching. To make things a little easier for you today I have put a number next to every item I talk about and if you look in the description of this video you will see the link that corresponds with that number. So if you're interested in any of these products then simply write down the number that you're looking for and then you can check the description and then it's all there for you. Right, so the first section of gifts that I have to share with you I've kind of called it for the plants. So this is stuff for plants. Pretty self-explanatory, right? So the first thing I have to show you are these absolutely adorable ornaments for your plants. And you're probably thinking, what on earth are these? In the case of this one here, there will be a little bit of thread that you can thread through the top and you can hang it from your plant. This one here says plant goals. It's a really cute little rosette. And it's just, just a sweet little ornament that you can hang on your plant. This side here is a, I think it's a tree frog actually. Yeah, tree frog says on the bottom right there, tree frog. You can bend this around a petty on one of your plants and sort of hang it and it's really cute. Now I will say straight off the bat there was so many designs to choose from particularly with the animals if that's something that you'd like to get either for yourself or for a gift of course. There were less rosettes I think there was only a few types of these but these the amount of animals you could pick from was ridiculous. So you are bound to find something that fits the bill in that category. They're really really cute and the thing I liked about these is that you can quite easily put these into a greetings card if that's something that you wanted to do. If you're just getting a card for someone and you maybe just wanted to put something a little bit extra in there I thought these were absolutely fantastic for that not only that but they're very budget friendly as well so that's a really nice cute ornamental gift but it is for your plants rather than yourself the next gift I have to share with you is actually a potting mat but the cool thing about this potting mat is it's very small and it's very portable and it folds away into literally nothing now it's not the biggest potting mat in the world it is designed for I would argue light work if you just had one or two things to do but it is nice and compact so I will show you what it looks like this is the back of the potting mat and this is the front and you're probably thinking okay this is just it's a mat it doesn't do anything but what you do is there are two little poppers on these corners and what you do is you pop them together like this I'll do them all now three and four and what it does is it makes a little mat like this. So it can sit down in front of you if you need to do a little something something. Perhaps maybe you're dusting your plants or you just want to protect a surface. This is a really cute little mat. Is it going to get, you know, big work done, big repots? No, it's not. It is a very nice light personal one though if that's something you want to do. I think that this is a really nice thing to have if there's not a ton of things you need to do and you just need to do a quick job maybe on one house plant and this is absolutely ideal to have lying around. You don't have to clear a big space for it. Fantastic for that. I'm pretty sure the Etsy shop did have some other designs in these. I picked this one because I thought, you know what, it's dark. It's not going to necessarily show up dirt as quickly as, say, a light one would. It's a very, very quiet mat. It's not plasticky and annoying. It's nice and silent. So if you make videos like me, then this is actually really, really handy. But yeah, just a really cute gift for someone. Again, it's not really for the person. It's more for the plants. The next gift you're really going to want to see. Shall I show you it? It's really, really good. I'm so excited that I found this because these are absolutely absolutely beautiful. Let me grab it. So this is my next item on this list. If you can't tell what this is, this is a trellis for a plant. It's a really cool shop on Etsy that makes these trellises but takes away the boring aspect of a trellis, right, and makes a really cool design. Obviously this is quite monstera-ish. Now I got this size. I can't remember the size that I got. I will write it down on the screen, anything you need to know. But I'm pretty sure this wasn't the largest that they had. And if I put it next to me, obviously these black parts, which I'll get into in a minute, 
they stick in the soil. So that gives you an idea of how big this trellis is. Now the bottom parts, I don't know how easy it is to see in this video, but the bottom parts are actually covered in a rubber paint so that when you put these into the soil, they are protected and it won't rot the wood. I think these are really nice because personally, I find moss poles just not ideal at all. This is a really, really nice alternative. And I think it'll just make the plant look a lot more ornamental. It just takes away the boring element of a pole. So I think this is a really, really nice one to go for. And I think nearly anyone would appreciate it as a gift if you, again, want to buy something for somebody's plants rather than for them. Now, they do have a whole bunch of trellises, different sizes of this, and even different designs. Like, for example, they have this one, which is tiny. This is more for maybe a really small plant or even a higher cutting or anything like that. This is absolutely adorable. I'm pretty sure this is based off a queen anthurium. But again, they have loads of different designs based off Monstera, anthurium. I'm pretty sure there was a palm one in there. There are loads of different designs and loads of different sizes, and you're bound to find something that's going to suit what you think that the person, or maybe even yourself, what you would like. But that's not the only thing. There is one more thing from this shop as well that I thought was absolutely brilliant. And again, it takes a boring thing for your plants and now makes it really ornamental and pretty. So the next thing I've got to show you, and these are like a personal favorite of mine, are these. Now I have five of these. I'll pick up three because five is hard to pick up. Now you're probably thinking, what on earth are these? They're not coasters. What they actually are are mini trellises for your wall. So that if you have a vining plant, say like a pothos or something like that, or a vining philodendron, the backs of these have like a sticky sort of pad on them. And what you can do is you can stick that on your wall in various patterns like this, and this acts as a trellis on your wall, which negates the needs for those kind of ugly hooks that a lot of people tend to use on the vines of their plants. This makes it look really, really pretty and ornamental. And I actually think these are brilliant. I'm not gonna lie, I think they're brilliant. Obviously, these are the same design as this big one here. It's just adorable. Again, it's taking something that's really mundane for your plants and just making it really, really pretty. And I know a lot of us are into that really nice aesthetic. And I think someone that is into aesthetic when it comes to stuff like this would really, really appreciate these. So these are another really, really cute little item, I guess. And it's definitely a smaller item if you're concerned about, you know, sending something overseas that's in a massive package, for example. This is another really cute one. And again, there are also the smaller ones as well. They have so many different sizes. If you take a look, you're bound to find a size that is right for you or your plant or a gift or whatever. I really, really like these. I think these might be my second favorite things on this list. Definitely. They're really, really nice. The next category we have are puzzles and crafts, so anything of that variety. And I will start off with something that I haven't opened yet, but I'm going to do this one at Christmas because I think it'd be really, really fun. The first thing I would like to show you is this amazing, very beautiful jigsaw puzzle that I found on Etsy. Now, this seller actually has a few different designs that you can choose from. I just went with this one because I thought it was really pretty. But this is a 1000 piece puzzle. It is 500 millimeters by 700 millimeters, so it's quite big. And I think for a jigsaw lover, this is absolutely it. Again, beautiful designs. I've seen a few on there. Not only that, but if you like this art style, by the way, the seller does seem to do a lot of posters and things like that. So if you like the artwork, but you don't want to buy a jigsaw puzzle, you can always get this in poster form as well. So if that's something that interests you, you might want to have a look. Again, I haven't opened this. I haven't even completed this, but I'm thinking about taking this to my family's house for Christmas and maybe having a go just to pass the time while, you know, the festivities are on their way and dinner's in the oven and things like that. I think this would be really, really nice. Not to mention, but the packaging is actually very, very beautiful. It's one of the things that caught my eye straight away because it's very simplistic. This is the back of the packaging. So it's a really, really nice gift. And I thought it'd be really nice for someone that is into this kind of thing. So that is one idea for a puzzly gift. The next item I'd like to show you for a DIY crafty gift is one that I spent all of yesterday making. I think this took me around about three hours. Now, bear in mind, I'm not crafty. So a lot of what I was doing, I was doing it for the first time. I have quite fiddly hands. I'm not the best at this sort of thing, but it was more than doable, to be honest. And the thing that I found on the internet is this gorgeous little DIY plant paper craft terrarium. Now, I'm going to take the dome off because I appreciate with the lights on, you can't necessarily see all of the details. So let me just take this dome off now. So if I take this off, you can really, really see it. And this is glued together. How cool is that, please? How amazing is this? How adorable. Now, I thought this gift was fantastic. And I'll start by saying this is not the only design available. There are other ones. This basically came to me disassembled in this kit right here. It's shaking because there's basically old bits of paper in. You do get instructions on how to make this step by step. So you don't have to have any idea of what you're doing, really. The instructions 
instructions talk you through the whole thing. They give you all the bits of colored card. And when you buy this on Etsy, you can either buy it with or without the cutting tools and cutting board and stuff like that. So if you know that the person or maybe yourself is already crafty and already has this sort of stuff, then you don't need to buy it again. But you can spend a little bit of extra money and get a cutting board and a knife and a couple of other things in the set if you're worried about that. I think this took me about three hours. I'm very proud of it. It might have taken me a little bit longer than that, actually. I'm very proud of it. Some things I did wrong, like I put the wrong side of the card facing outwards, like here, there's a little bit of black where I've used the wrong side to glue it on and stuff like that. But it was really quite straightforward to do. It was just a little bit fiddly for me because I've never used a cutting tool before. But hey, if I can do it, honestly, anybody can. Honestly, that's not the coolest part of this gift for me. The coolest part of this gift is you can either purchase it and give it to someone as a DIY craft kit to keep them busy or, you know, for whatever purpose, or you can buy it, make the gift, and you can package it really beautifully and there you go, you made a handmade gift for somebody. So it's kind of multifunctional in that sense. Not only that, if you're like me and you buy gifts and then you run out of time, then if you did buy it with the intent of making it for them, you can still give it to them as a DIY kit. So I'm just saying it gives you a little bit of a lifeline. But honestly, I found this was really easy to make and I have no craft experience at all. They do do some different designs, some really cool designs actually. So make sure you check them out. If you like the idea of this, but maybe you don't like this design, then do check them out. Now this next crafty gift, I actually did not have the time to make. I ran out of time before this video, but I did find a really cool printable DIY paper craft card on Etsy. And I'm showing you one now that I actually picked, but really it's just a representation of any card that you could pick, right? A DIY paper graph card. I want to draw everyone's attention to the fact that this does exist on Etsy and it's quite handy because it's instantly downloadable, right? So as long as you have the stuff on your end, you can download one of these greeting cards and get to work assembling it. It allows you to get a really nice greeting card for somebody that they can keep forever and keep as an ornament. And I think that's really nice. And the fact that you can download it and get to work on it immediately is a really good thing. So I wanted to show you these. Again, I have not had time to do it. I'm running enough. I think I spent all my time on this. I wanted to draw your attention to them because they are a really cool idea and it's going to be accessible to you no matter what country you're in, no matter what, because of course you can just download it. So if you want to do a DIY greeting card with all the guidelines, then I suggest you check out that shop because they have some really good stuff. My next category with only one item in it is something useful. The next thing I'm going to show you, honestly, it's kind of a rite of passage and I think everyone probably has one. I did a slightly different spin on it, but I wanted to show you this plant mug because who doesn't want a plant mug? Who doesn't need a mug to drink from? Now, in this case, I actually went for a camping mug because I thought I'd go for the more outdoorsy type and I've seen a million and one normal mugs. I don't really see anybody with camping mugs. So I went for a camping mug from this shop on Etsy and the design I went for is very, very morbid, but that's just me. The design on this says when you're dead inside but love plants and it is a really cool skeleton with a wig on it by the looks of it and a lot of plants. I can see a monstera there, I can see some sort of vining plant but it's a really cool alternative planty design. So that's my take on a regular plant mug. I think this could be really really handy obviously if you do know an outdoorsy type that uses this kind of mug or if not it's just a really cute mug to have maybe a smaller cup of coffee in or something like that. Again as with everything the shop that makes these mugs has a whole load of designs and I mean a whole load of designs. You cannot not find a mug on there that you will probably want to have to buy. There are so many designs, I struggle to even pick one. Not only that, but they do do these designs on things like t-shirts as well. So if you see this design and you think, yes, yeah, cool, but I don't really want the mug, then check out the t-shirts because the t-shirts are just as good and they literally feature some of the same designs. So if you find something that you want in a mug, there is probably the t-shirt and vice versa. Not only that, this one isn't going to break in shipping, which I really, really appreciate. Nobody wants to receive a broken mug. I like this. It's cute. Oh, we're now into the ornamental category. And my goodness, do I have some nice things to show you in this category. You will not believe the stuff that I found on Etsy. I'm really, really excited about it. Now, I wanted to start off the ornamental section with one of these cushions. Now, you may recognize this cushion. This cushion has actually been sat in my living room for the last two years. And may I say, it's actually worn really, really well. I got this in, I think it 
was 2019. And I remember seeing where I got it from on the original video, et cetera, et cetera. A lot of people ask me about these cushions because they're really, really nice. This is a really moss green velvet. It's really tightly stuffed, so it's solid as a rock. You can literally use this as a pillow and it has virtually no give in it. It's very, very tough as a pillow. It's not a floppy one, doesn't go out of shape. And that's after two years. And it's honestly, it's had a little bit of abuse to be quite honest with you. The design is also really good because this pattern here stitched in the veins on the leaf. This is actually a satin stitch done with thread. So this is stitched in, which means it's not going to rub off or anything like that. It's not going to transfer. It's not going to peel off. It's not going to crack. That literally can't happen. It's a really, really nice cushion. Now they do do different designs of cushions, I do believe, or at least they did when I bought them. I actually have a really long cushion that is a Queen Anthurium leaf. I have one of those as well. It's just a lovely, lovely cushion. And as I say, this is two years old and the wear on it is virtually non-existent and it really has had abuse. So if you want to buy someone something for their couch or maybe they've got like a reading chair or maybe for their bed or wherever you would put a cushion, I guess, this is an absolutely beautiful one. It's such a nice cushion. The next gift I have to show you is a little bit smaller than that and it is a little bit more ornamental. The thing for me is I probably wouldn't burn this because I'm one of those people that has certain candles that are ornamental and I do think this falls into this category. Obviously you can burn it if you wish, but I'm probably not going to. That's why you will not see it lit. But this here is a gorgeous candle that I found on Etsy. And I think there are two different designs. One is a succulent design and one is a cacti design. I went for the cacti because I thought it was really cute. So there's three different cacti and the wick is actually in the middle there. And the logo is on the front and it's just generally a really nice gift. Now this came in three different scents. Let me read what these scents were. There is the scent Secret Garden, Angel Blush or Spring in Paris. And I'm pretty sure I picked Secret Garden. So that is a really nice gift if you want to get something for maybe someone's dressing table. I actually think this would look really beautiful on a dressing table against like all white and stuff like that. Once again, this shop does a ton of candles and I mean a ton. There are limitless designs available and a lot of them aren't even planty. There are all kinds of shapes and sizes. So if you're into candles, generally I actually suggest you check them out because this is just the tip of the iceberg. Obviously I picked this one because it's planty and this is a plan channel, but there are tons of different ones. So if you're curious, go and check them out and see all their designs because they're really, really nice. But this, this is beautiful. One other thing, this was packaged really well. Although this could seem quite brittle up here, it was all stuffed nicely with bubble wrap and it was packaged really, really securely. So I can't see that going very wrong in shipping. It was really, really well done. It made it to me. So it's done pretty well and it's completely intact. I'm pretty sure though, if one of these broke off, you could easily melt the bottom of it and stick it back on. And I don't think you'd have any issues. But as I say, mine didn't break when it was sent to me, so. Okay, the next gift I have to show you is so beautiful. And this is actually a gift for one of my very good friends. So I think I'm probably spoiling the surprise for them a little bit, but it was my friend that actually told me about this shop and about this gift in particular. So I wanna show it to you today and I have actually bought it for them. So this beautiful thing here is a wall hanging. So it's something that you can put on your wall like this. And it is all stitched and very beautiful, very flexible and very high quality. This of course is essentially a load of Adansonii that are all tessellating together. It's just a really, really pretty little ornament to hang on your wall. I did get the cane with this as well. It already came with the, you know, the thread looped on, the thread rolled up on either end. The cane is painted gold and it's basically ready to go. I think I put this underneath, as it happens, the jigsaw from earlier, just to flatten out on this table for a while. It flattened out in no time at all. It was wrapped really, really gently like this. And obviously the cane was separate. You get everything you need. Really, really nice. And I just think this is really, really sweet, especially if you want to get something for someone that doesn't necessarily have the space. Because obviously when you put something on a wall, space isn't an issue. So this is really, really sweet to have maybe in a kitchen, a living room, maybe a bathroom, bedroom. Like it doesn't really matter. I think this is an absolutely adorable gift. It was my friend that actually found this and... Uh, uh, sent this to me a long time ago. I think this was like a year ago. So I found one and I purchased it for them. So Merry Christmas to you. You know who you are. Let's see if I can zoom in on it the best I can. There you go. Just so you can actually see the detail on this because it's really quite stunning. Really, really, really beautiful. They did have different sizes of this in the shop. This is a small and I think they do do a larger one as well. Again, check it out if you're interested, but it's just really sweet. And I think that would make a lot of people very, very happy. I'll show you one more time because it honestly is that gorgeous and that intricate. That is absolutely stunning. Really, really beautiful gift, but that's not all. 
that is not all from this shop. And I honestly, I found possibly the best thing ever. Possibly the coolest gift to ever get someone that wants a certain plant, but maybe it's not in budget or they're afraid they're going to kill it or anything else. Let me introduce you to a very, very cool fake plant. Now this one is completely handmade. The stems actually do move around so I've placed this myself. But what it is, is essentially a fake plant that you can position and have wherever you like and it's never gonna die. You don't have to worry about pests, you don't have to worry about anything and it's solid unit. If you look at that, that is absolutely solid. It is absolutely stunning. Now obviously I went and got one of my favorite plants which if you can't tell what this plant is, it is a philodendron florida ghost and if you know me well enough you'll know that that is honestly one of my favorite plants of all time so i got this one to show you the beauty of these plants these are totally positionable you can move things wherever you like you can just make it however you want it to again it was packaged really beautifully it comes with a set of care instructions on how to manipulate your plant and how to present it and how to be careful while doing it and everything else not only that but it's already potted with weights this isn't going to tip over this is weighted quite nicely and it's packaged in a fabric there's the label of the cellar on there and it's ready to just go into an ornamental pot so you can leave it like this this black fabric outline i have to show you obviously to show you what the actual product looks like but you can of course just put it in a nice big chunky ornamental pot once again this cellar does a ton and i mean a ton of ornamental stuff i have seen variegated amazonia i've seen i think calathea i've seen sansevieria I've seen Peperomia, I've seen Begonia. Honestly, this seller has so many different options and so many different sizes. This is something I picked out for obvious reasons because it's my favorite plant, but there are smaller ones as well if you want something a little bit more compact and this is just a little bit big for you. And if you don't wanna do that and you wanna do something a little bit different, I have these. These are the same thing again, they are stitched earrings. So here we have what I think is a pink princess. There you go beautiful philodendron pink princess earrings and the other one i have to show you as it's christmas i got sent some very beautiful sewn holly earrings like that now the cool thing about these is obviously yes they're planty they're earrings but because they are sewn and fabricy, they have like no weight to them at all so if you're someone that or you know someone that wears earrings that they don't want it to pull down on them i honestly can't see that happening with these because they're so lightweight so you get the benefit of a big chunky earring but none of the discomfort or none of the pulling on your ears so i thought that was really really cute and again they can slip inside a greeting card if you're just sending someone a card or anything like that this will fit in very nicely so that brings me to the end of my planty gifts video in partnership with etsy all of these products are from etsy and you can find them all linked in the description below again they have been numbered on the screen so all you need to do is make a little note of that number and then go to the description box below and you will see a numbered list in order of all the links you could ever need please let me know what your favorite items were because there were so many honestly between candles trellises you know mugs diy cushions it's all here and as i mentioned at the start of this video i didn't want to do a video that was just you know plants to get as gifts or simply plant pots i wanted to do something a little bit different i really really hope you enjoyed this video i really enjoyed making it feel free to leave a comment below and tell me what you think the best gift in this entire list is because i'm kind of curious for me it's probably a toss-up between the trellis and the fabric plants because i think they're just amazing if you like this video then please leave a like down below if you'd like to see any more of my content then please feel free to hit that subscribe button similarly you can follow me on instagram or twitter and that's about it for this week's video guys i hope you enjoyed it happy gift buying and i will see you in the next video bye guys